Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Ebony Stevenson, USDA Access and Accountability Organizer here at National Young Farmers Coalition. Welcome to our Facebook Live tutorial uh, for our farmers on how to navigate the USDA farmers.gov website. And then I'm going to turn it over to Shakira. Hello, everyone. My name is Shakira Regoza. I am the technical assistant for farmers applying for FSA loans. And I'll be guiding everyone through the farmers.gov website today. Want to hopefully share all of the resources that are available there and know that, that this is a, uh, open for you in case you aren't able to reach out to your local office. You can find a lot of answers to your questions on this uh, farmers.gov website that you, you'll see here that we're sharing. Um, just to tell you, um, this website has a lot of other information besides information about loans. So um, invite you to explore those other areas when you have time. And we are going to jump over here to the loans tab, which is right here, you can't miss it. So this is where we'll be um, exploring today. But there's a lot of other information as you can see here. Um, the latest news about what's going on, new programs coming out, and also uh, program deadlines. So you'll know if you're applying for any of these programs, um, take note that the organic certification cost share program deadline is coming up for all of you organic certified farmers. You can get uh, reimbursed for part of those costs. So there's some tools here. A lot of good information. So, and it's easy to remember, farmers.gov. So uh, you don't have to remember all of the other links out uh, for this. So today, like I mentioned, we're gonna be focusing on the loans portion of this site. And we'll show you where you can find out if you're eligible for the loans, the interest rates, the terms, what you can use the money for, um, how to contact your local office to apply, um, where to find your office. So all of those things are here. So we're gonna cover that here really quickly for you and get you familiar with this site. So if you click over here, there's the loans section. So it gives some general information about the loan. So USDA here is here to help farmers and ranchers and foresters get the loan support they need to be successful. And here's a note for current loan holders. Um, you'll find messages here. And scrolling down, these are the tools that I use a lot as I help farmers um, find out what programs will work for their farm. And this first tool is the Farm Loan Discovery Tool. You go in here and it's also available in Spanish. So in case you prefer Spanish, you can also find the tool here. So let's, let's see, it's very straightforward, very simple. Um, it's just a few clicks and you'll get your, your answer to your question. So first off, are you looking for a farm loan? Um, this seems like a very straightforward question, yes or no, but um, many people, when we reach out to them, they might assume that um, it's for other funds. So if you do select no, they will point you to other resources. So if you're not looking for a USDA loan, they'll give you a link here for grants. So just if you want to look at research grants as well, you can select no. So we're going to go with yes because we want to learn about the loan programs. So here they're asking if you're looking for an agriculture youth loan. FSA does provide loans for youth, um, persons under 18 that are in uh, FHA or 4 H programs. So if we'll select no here, you will say they want help with buying livestock, for example. 
and it'll ask you how much money are you looking to borrow and you'll select your area so you can select we'll just select alaska because it's first and your county and we'll check out the list of options so here for a person that's a youth they want to buy some um, cattle for a project for FFA, here they are suggesting they try out a farm operating loan. So it's kind of neat. You just answer a few questions and you can figure out what program works best for you. Now we can also start over if you want to explore other ones. I'll just click back here. So let's test out another scenario. Here we are. So yes, we are looking for a loan, but we aren't looking for a youth project. So some of the most common ones um, is the ownership loan. Right now, um, land is a big issue. Uh, everyone needs to find farmland and so we're going to select ownership loan these loans can be used to purchase land but you can also use them for a construction project so if you need to build out some facilities on your farm you can use an ownership loan and how much so there's different programs depending on how much the property uh, project is going to cost so right now we know land prices are really high, really competitive. So let's say we found something, but it's over $600. So you can click here and say we're in Alabama now and Baldwin County. Let's see what we got. So the, the loan tool will suggest what loan works well. So right now they're suggesting a guaranteed loan. And if you're not familiar with those, you can scroll down and it provides information about those loans. And it tells you how much money you can get, what can you do, who can apply, and how to find a lender and other information. So this guide will point you in the right direction, give you some general information, but with all of these loan programs, if you click on gather more information, it'll take you out of this site and link you to another website. So we're here in farmers.gov, but let's say we want more information. So we're going to click on this link and it'll take us out of this web page to the USDA FSA loans program. So we want to know how much we can borrow because land is expensive here. And we, we need more than 600,000. So it'll take you right to that information. And it says we can borrow up to $1,825. So that's kind of neat. Um, if you get through the tool and you find a program that you're interested in, it'll guide you to the fsausda.gov site. Programs, services, and so this is kind of hard to remember. So for me, when I'm helping people, I always go to farmers.gov and I know I can get to the information I need from there. But this is also another great resource that you can find, get more detailed information. So right now we're talking about guaranteed farm loans. These programs are unique because farmers don't actually work directly with FSA. And we know a lot of people might not feel comfortable working with their local office. And so you can reach out to a commercial bank and lender and apply for a guaranteed loan. And so you'll work directly with the bank and FSA kind of backs your loan. So they ensure it in case you can't make payments, FSA tells the bank they'll cover you and the bank's more willing to lend to a beginning farmer with less experience. So it'll tell you more information about the program. 
And one thing that I like is you can easily find out about the rates and what you can use it for. So this tells you what the loans can be used for, purchasing land, for operating expenses. It mentions about special programs. And a lot of folks, you're not sure if you qualify or if you're eligible, you can find that information here, qualifications. And we already found the info about the loan amounts and the interest rates. How long do you have to pay the money back? So the repayment terms. And they will even help you find a local bank that's working with that program. So we're gonna head out of here. And we can navigate another scenario with our program. So we are not looking for an agriculture youth loan and we're not gonna buy land. Let's say this time we need to purchase a tractor. So equipment, we wanna buy a new tractor for the farm and it's gonna be less than 50,000. We'll move on to Arkansas and we're gonna view our loan options. So you get a different option each time based on your farm needs. So they are suggesting that we use the farm operating microloan. The microloans are very unique because they have a shorter application process and the requirements are more lenient. Uh, and so we can gather more information about the microloans here. They'll give you the application. So sometimes it's hard to find an application or get your local office to send one out to you by mail or email. You can always find them here on this website and you can print them out. And there's also a link for instructions. Now I am the FSA technical assistant. So if you don't feel comfortable going through the forms or don't wanna read through the instructions or they're hard to understand, please feel free to reach out. Um, I'm, that's what I do, helping people complete these forms. So uh, my information, we can share that. And it's uh, shakira at youngfarmers.org. And we'll try and put that out there um, in the comments so you can reach out and contact us for help. But the applications are here and the instructions, just if you wanna browse those. And there, most of them are available in English and um, Spanish. So this is a, your guide to FSA loans. So like I mentioned, they give you a lot of details. If you have questions, for example, how much can I get? What are the interest rates? What can I do with the money? And you can always scroll down and get more information here. Um, no, you can't use it for birds or fish or dogs or horses. It has to be for human consumption. So if you had a question about that, you can get it answered. And who can apply for the loans? So this loan is for farmers and ranchers who can't get credit elsewhere. And they have special programs for beginning farmers and ranchers, and also for minority and women um, farmers as well. So what I would like to do is share with you some ways to get information on the USDA FSA website. So many times, we need to know the interest rates and we wanna know that right away. So I would definitely wanna share this with you, this tool of where you can find those so you can compare the rates of FSA to local banks. So if you see, if we have more questions, it will bounce us out to the fsausda.gov site. And here you can find all the interest rates for the different loan programs. So the operating loan, is the one we were looking into. So we see that the rate is 4.125%. So 
So it's considerably lower than the rates you'll find um, at the banks right now. And these change every month. So as you see, it says effective as of September 1st. So um, it's very good to know where to find this information. It's always updating. So you can always find the latest rates by going to the newsroom and news releases. And there's a lot of other news going on. So this is really cool um, to browse different programs opening up. So you can see the, the rates for September 22 posted every first of the month. So if we scroll down, if we wanna see, you know, our rates going up or rates going down, we can always go and compare to previous months. And just to look at August for the operating loans, we see it was 4.0 in August. And this month in September is 4.125. So you see a trend that the rates are going up. So definitely wanna show that to you all and use that resource to be able to find the lending rates. So just make sure you're up to date on that. All right, so we're gonna go back to farmers.gov. I wanna share some other good tools with you. So let's say you found out, okay, I have this program that I'm interested in. I wanna apply for this loan and you want to reach out to your local office. So you'll use this tool here, it's called a service center locator. So you can find the office that's serving your county. And we kind of put this information in on the other page too. So you can select your state. down here so it lists all the states and also there's the virgin islands there's puerto rico so you can select the state you can select the county and it'll give you the information for your service center so the programs processing the loans is the farm service agency so this is the center you look for also, you can find the information for the NRCS, which is the Natural Resource Conservation Office, um, and also rural development. So just as a um, caution, when you do find your service center that's servicing your area, please call them before you go out. Um, they might have limited uh, hours um, right now, and also you might need to schedule an appointment to actually visit with someone. And what I found is I've been reaching out and um, connecting people to their local office is that many times they, different offices um, focus on different programs. So for example, if you're looking for the farm loans program, it might not be housed in the office that's in your county. It might be located in another county. So please give them a call before you go out and ask if they are the office that's processing loans. And there's always an email here if you prefer to email. Um, they do have a physical address, but I just recommend before you head out to give them a call and um, they can let you know if they are the right person, um, the right office to process the loans. So this is a great tool. Uh, the Loans are processed um, in the county that's assigned for the property. So if you live in a different county, but you're purchasing or operating in another county, then you will be um, needing to base your um, service center on the, the, the location of the operation, if that makes sense. Okay, so next we are going to look at Another part here, which is the farmers.gov account. So after you receive your loan, you can also manage your payments and check out your payment history, 
here at the farmers.gov account. Click here. You can find out all the different options you have inside of this account. So you can view your loan information. You can check your terms. You can check your interest rates, what payments are coming up, what payments have you made. So this is a great tool. Once you do receive your loan, you can come and, and have access to that. Also, if you're participating in other programs, if you have um, contracts for conservation through NRCS, like EQIP, like for high tunnels, cover cropping, any of those types of programs, you can access your contracts uh, and sign them in this tool as well. And this is neat. Um, you can also map out your farm, um, you know, find total acreage, the area from land drawings. So a lot of good tools in here. So once you do have uh, your loan, or if you already are participating in the NRCS program um, through with the National Resource Conservation, you can create a farmers.gov account and have access to that also. So you don't have to go in the office each time. So I encourage you to sign up for that if you um, are participating in a loan or NRCS already. Okay, and then we will go to the very last part here that I wanted to share with you all. I know if you don't get the assistance or help that you need from the website, reach out to the local office. You can reach out to me, of course, um, to get help with the, the loans program. But if you have other issues, there is a customer service um, department at USDA. Um, so it's Ask USDA, you can give them a call, you can email or you can send an online um, request. And it's not just for questions, you can put in comments, general feedback about your experiences, what's working, what's not. So we click on the contact us page and it has multiple ways you can reach out to them or you can fill in this short survey. So that's another resource you can make use of. Um, it's open Monday to Friday, eight to five. So I know that was kind of quick but that was the information I wanted to make sure you guys are aware of. Um, this will be shared, so you can always come back to this resource if you want to find out how to navigate FSA. Um, the farmers.gov website will be sharing this, so this will be available later, but we want to make sure everybody knows this is a resource available and you can get a lot of answers to your questions about the loan programs and the eligibility and access to the applications themselves. So you can look over them in advance, find out what they're gonna be um, asking you, what documents you need to present. So you'll be better prepared once you do reach out to the local office. Awesome. <clears throat> Shakira, thank you so much. This was such a great tutorial. I even learned some things during this tutorial that I haven't <laughs> used <laughs> on the website. So uh, we just want to thank you guys for joining us uh, for this live. Um, if you have any questions and you need some more support, you can reach Shakira at Shakira at youngfarmers.org. Or you can reach me, Ebony, at youngfarmers.org. And then also, um, if you felt this tutorial was useful to you, please feel free to share it um, with other farmers that you know who are starting this process or who are in the process and having some issues. And then also, 
if you like this tutorial and you have some ideas of other tutorials that would be helpful for you navigating this process, please feel free to let us know. Thank you so much. Thank you.